Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Monday, September 26, 2016. Happy birthday, Alan. The authorized souls in the Lynn life and the Jamie body-mind continue to be child souls from the deeper, smaller subatomic. And we have received instructions a couple of days ago to uh, evacuate everything from the deeper, smaller subatomic that we are able to evacuate. That part is not new. But to amp it up and go for, in fact, whole civilizations that have been occurring in deeper, smaller levels where the entire civilization has gone toxic. With assignments like this, it's important to use all the tools we have at our disposal. So we're going to use the Life Between Lives hypnosis technique, uh, which is a tool that we can use here. And we'll see if that creates an opening that's effective for creating mass evacuations from the deeper, smaller subatomic. And with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Right now I'm asking for those presences who desperately want the search for truth process to succeed to be present and help us during this effort for all who desperately want truth to prevail to be present and help during this effort. On the other side of the door is the last day of the life lived as bear inside, that Native American man, bear inside. I'll count from five down to one. The door will open. We'll move through the door and into the experience. It may not be the very last day of the life, but will be a day toward the end of the life of bear inside, and possibly the very last day. Does this make sense? Yes. Five, the door is opening. Four, moving through the door and into the experience. Three, feeling the moment unfolding itself around you, wrapping itself around you. Two, noticing your feet very present in the moment. Feel your feet pulling you into the experience and drawing you into the experience and one easily and effortlessly you are there first impressions now very first impressions are you inside or outside 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 is it day or night it's day day are you alone or with someone i'm alone Tell me what you're aware of. Are you standing, sitting, or lying down? I'm standing, and I feel old. I feel so tired. Old and tired. And what kind of surface are you standing on? Rocky ground. Yes. It's late afternoon, and it's autumn. Yeah. It's really beautiful. This feels like my favorite time of year. Yes. And one of my favorite times of day. Yes. And what are you aware of? I feel very peaceful. Mm -hmm. I feel pretty clear that I'm coming to the end of this life. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry about a lot of things I think I should have done better. Mm. And there's a lot of people who are dead now. But I think, ooh, I handled that interaction really badly. I'm sorry. But I have this feeling that, well, I'm going to see them again soon, and so I'd better really gather up my apologies now, because I'm coming close to the point where I'm going to get the chance to make it right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you're preparing your apologies, is yeah. that it? Very good. What else are you aware of, Bear Inside? There's a breeze blowing. It's not cold yet. And I feel like I'd really like to go before it gets cold. I don't want to go through another winter. Don't want another winter. The last one was really rough. I'd like to go before it gets too cold. 
Are you ready to go now? Oh, yeah, we can do this. Let's move through time to that moment that is the last breath. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can let me know whenever you feel like you're there. And we'll go through this experience together. I'll count from five down to one. And as I do that, we'll move through time to the last breath of bare inside. Does that make sense? Yeah. Here we go. Five, four, three, feeling the moment unfolding itself around you, wrapping itself around you. Two, feeling your feet very present in the moment. Feel your feet pulling you into the moment. And one, easily and effortlessly, you are there. Are you standing or sitting or lying down? Lying down. Yes. Are you alone or with someone? I'm alone. Inside or outside? Inside. Yes. And what are you aware of? It's early morning. Yes. Well, you've done the best you could. That's true. And if you're ready, then you're ready. And if you aren't, you aren't. That's true. That's the feeling. Yes. Ready to roll, right? Yes. Okay. Would you like to do this on the breath? Exhale on the breath? Yeah. Then you take a deep breath in and hold it as long as you can. And when you have to let it go, you exhale out the top of your head. Leave the body with the breath. Does that make sense? Yes. Go ahead. There you go. Very, very, very good. Now, are you above the body or beside the body or some other way? Just above the body. As if you're looking down at the body? It smells like I'm hovering parallel above it. Yes. I feel like I'm still in the lying down position, but just above the body. Yes. Looking up like the body was looking up. Yes. And would you like to move farther up? Yes. Go ahead. Feel free. Move farther up. And what kind of surface is the ceiling or covering of this room? It was animal skin, but now I feel like I've just blown up through it. Yes, you're above the roof now. Yes. Yes. Outside, pretty high up now. I can see most of my community from from here. Are you looking down as you're going up? Is it? Yes. Yes. But I'd like to look up now. Well, you can turn and look up. Find that pinpoint of light. Do you yeah. see the pinpoint of light? I see it. Head for it fast as ever you can. You can move at the speed of thought now. That's true. Yes. Just be there at that pinpoint of light. And as you arrive at that pinpoint of light, Look for the next pinpoint of light above it. Does that make sense? Yes. Let me know what's happening. I'm becoming aware that there are a lot of other dead people around who aren't moving up. You can I'm like I'm blowing up through these clouds of other dead people. Would you like to call to them and let them know they can follow you? I would. It doesn't feel right to just blow past them. No. Say so this way, this, this way, way, this, this way, way, this way. You can follow me. But don't wait for them. Head no. up. Head up. Some will follow and some won't. That's true. Yes. Feeling better now. And how many are coming with you? A lot. Yes. Keep going. Find the next pinpoint of light and call this way, this way, this, this way, way, this way. And higher. Are you squeezing through pinholes? I am. And as the people are following you, are they also squeezing through? Yes. And what's it's happening to the pinholes? Are they getting wider or are they staying the same? They're getting wider. Yes. 
Call to the people this way, this, this way, way, this way, and this keep way. looking up to the next pinhole. This and way, this way. And how many pinholes do you see lined up? A lot. A lot. Keep going, just keep going and call this way, this, this way, way, this way, this way. And roughly how many do you feel are following you? Maybe hundreds of thousands. And with each pinhole we go through more from the level of that next pinhole. Join in. Join in and now it's like they're being drawn almost by law of attraction to the others. This way, this way, this keep way, going this higher, way, this higher, way. higher, higher. This way, keep this going. way, this way. Keep going through the pinholes of light. What's happening? Broken through into a very, very bright place and it feels like hundreds of thousands of other dead people are flying into the I guess dimension that we just broke into. Yeah. I don't feel like I'm moving up anymore but all these other people are moving around me almost. It feels like we're filling whatever this space is and well, they're still coming. Look up for another pinhole. Find another pinhole. Is there there's got to there's be There's got one. to be a pinhole. There's I can got, feel there's, there's always a pinhole. One. Maybe it's higher than I'm looking. We'll bifurcate all of us who really want to know no, what's actually going on. Search for true central axis. All others flung away. See if there's a pinhole opening up. I feel like we're starting to wiggle through a hole. It's still very white. Yes. I don't see very much, but I'm starting to feel less stuck. Yes. And a little bit above the f the crowd, above the hubbub. Yes. Yes. Now, let's look directly up and call for presences who would like to help those who have newly arrived to go get them and help them. Calling for presences who would like to help those who are newly arrived to come get them and help them. I still don't see who's moving, but I feel the movement and hear sounds like rustling, uh, almost like large bird wings rustling. Yeah. Sounds. Yes. Yes. Like a stork wings. Yes, stork wings. I agree. And it sounds like they're moving past me and going down to below where I am. Very good. Very good. I don't feel like I'm moving up right now. I feel like I'm kind of floating in one spot. Let's call for those who really want to know what's actually going on and who are in the level right below. For those who really want to know what's actually going on to come up into this level also. What do you notice about these presences? They all feel like children and they're all shorter than I am. Yes. Uh, and they all seem like they've had some pretty bad stuff happen to them. Yes. Uh, but they don't feel angry. No. Some of them are scared. What are and they afraid of? You can ask them. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Is it fear of the unknown? It could be fear of the unknown. Because they definitely don't want to go back to where they came from. No. Or it could be sadness about people they feel like they've left behind. Well, sadness and fear are not the same. That's true. So they could be sad about presences they've left behind and also afraid of the unknown. That's possibly. true. This could be both feelings. Ask them, is it possible that they're afraid of the unknown? Is it possible that you're afraid of the unknown? Yeah. The response seemed to be like, yes, and what a stupid question you just asked me. <laughs> Got it. Live streaming up, calling up, find that pinhole of light. Can you see a pinhole of yes. light? Yes. Send the message up. Ask, is anyone willing to come help these children? 
Is anyone willing to come help these children? They really want to know what's actually going on. They really want to know what's actually going on. And they're a little bit afraid of the unknown. And they're a little bit afraid of the unknown. Is anybody willing to come explain what's going on? Is anybody willing to come explain what's going on? To scared children. To scared children. From the deeper, smaller subatomic. From the deeper, smaller subatomic. I don't think anybody is coming. No. That's not surprising. No. No help is coming. No. It's up to us. No, that's nothing new. All right. Well, what we can do is take our fears. We can pull them out of our heads. That's true. Right out the tops of the heads like a crown. We can make a big pile of fear in the center, and we can light it on fire like a bonfire. Would they like a bonfire? If they'd yes. like a bonfire, are they willing to pull out their fears and their sadnesses and pile them up so that we can set them ablaze and have a bonfire? This feels like willingness, and I actually hear movement. And are they willing to pull out all the things that we're carrying around inside of ourselves that we believe to be true but are actually not true? and pile them up on the bonfire also? Yes. So that we have a bonfire of things we believe to be true that are not true, have a bonfire of our fears and a bonfire of our sadnesses, and light them ablaze? Yes, they feel willing. Would anyone like to set it on fire? I would. Let me know what's happening. I feel the, the fire feeling like it's burning. Yes. The children don't seem as excited as I am. I'm pretty excited about this. Maybe lead them in a little uh, dance around the fire. That could be. Counterclockwise. That's right. Get them moving. Get a fire dance going. Yes. See if it perks up the group. There's some perking up happening. They don't feel very hopeful. Maybe that's what this feeling is. Ah. I'm feeling very hopeful and very good about this fire. and. They look kind of jaded, like, yeah, yeah, I've seen fires before. I don't feel better. Are they willing to pull out their jadedness and pile it on the fire? Ooh, are you willing to pull out your jadedness? I'll do it with you. Let's all of us pull out Let's our jadedness and our dejectedness and our hopelessness. Yeah. And pile up hopelessness and despair and jadedness and burn them. I feel movement like they're doing it. What's happening? It's getting harder to see them. It's ah. darker than it was just a moment ago. Interesting. Yeah, it is. Interesting. Like now it's significantly darker to where I can hear the kids moving, but can't really see them. Oh, interesting. Right? Possibly this is a signal to ask what's going on with the bands of light and dark. Yes. And how to interact effectively with them. Just start to live stream up through that pinhole. Ask, is this about the bands of light and dark? 